Hey Aries and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your April 2019 love reading. Um, this will be for singles and couples. We'll do singles first. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright Aries. Your guys' first card out is the Five of Swords in Reverse. Your next card out is the Chariot in Reverse. And your guys' future energy. Is the Nine of Pentacles. Your guys' foundation is the Six of Pentacles. Your um, overarching energy is the High Priestess. Beautiful. Um, we're going to take a clarifier because it is a major arcana. So, it's being clarified with the Six of Cups. So, singles. All right. What do I want to clarify with? We'll clarify with this. Um, your guys' foundation is the Six of Pentacles. Um, that is kind of just in your own little world. Um, thinking about somebody else um, in the past while somebody else is trying to get your attention. Yeah, somebody else is wanting this new beginning with you, wanting a second chance with you, and you're really hesitant about um, allowing this person back in your life because you worked very hard to, you see that dropper, that healing from the divine, you're rising up in light. They are crouching down in their shadow side, in their darkness. So um, you're very uh, apprehensive about giving this person the second chance because it took you a lot of hard work to uh, receive that healing, um, to, to move forward forward to move on and to um to really become the person you are and you fear they still are in that shadow side so you're really just focusing on yourself right now Aries singles because in the past there was a uh this this didn't end necessarily on a good note um it could have ended in an argument a fight um, you thought this person was down for you and you found out otherwise. Why is the five of swords here for Aries? Thank you. Yeah, the four of cups in reverse. So this person didn't see your value when they had you. This person didn't um, realize what they had until they lost you. And you just couldn't, um, you couldn't be that cup that was being ignored anymore. Um, they were focusing on everything that they everything but you, you could have felt like, uh, you were last priority to this person. So you moved forward and, um, decided to heal yourself and, um, and really just focus on making you feel better. And they realized what they had after they lost you. Your current energy in April is the chariot in reverse. So you haven't moved on from this person or they haven't moved on. I do feel they haven't moved on from you, um, Aries, because you are in this beautiful place um, of light. Uh, it's being clarified with the high priestess in reverse. So um, you could have been a secret in their life, Aries, and that was the three of cups they were focusing on. They were focusing on um, their other person and not you, and you decided that you deserved more than, you needed more than uh, a pillow to hold at night, except for that occasional you know, sneaking in when they could get a chance. Um, you refuse to be this person's secret any longer. You refuse to be second best. Um, so either, you know, move forward with me or I'm moving on alone. You did move on from this person. You did move on from this energy, um, Aries. And now they're having a hard time moving on from you. Um, they're not wanting to release you. In your guys' um, future energy, this person isn't letting go very easy. They are very persistent about getting you back. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Aries' future? Yes. You, your, your karma is balanced. You are being, you are very beautiful in your energy right now, Aries. You have done an amazing job working on yourself, um, ascending to a higher level of knowledge within your own personal growth. Um, managing your own demons we all have a dark side and you have figured out the balance between dark and light you are living a very high vibe life right now and they're being attracted to that and you're not necessarily um wanting to let them jump back in because it took you a lot of freaking hard work to figure that out to heal from that to learn from that um and to tell you the truth them putting you in this situation 
really did a lot of damage to you that you had to repair from. Um, your, your overarching energy is the high priestess in the upright. So you healed this. Now you're in the upright and you are, you know, you know, you look good. Not just like physically, but you, you know, you're vibrating high. You know, you have a lot to offer. You know what it takes to be the best possible you and you're living that life. And, uh, even though you think about this person from the past often, um, you know, you're, they're looking in that mirror of, of the memories. You appreciate the good times that the two of you had together. You do think about this person and think about the love that the two of you shared. But you don't forget about the pain that the two of you shared as well. And you're not so quick to jump back into that, um, that energy with this person. Just dropped half my deck. Why is the High Priestess here with the Six of Cups? Yeah, you moved forward. You moved on. You moved out of that rough situation. You moved out of that sh bullshit that you guys were dealing with. Wow, bottom of the deck, transformation. You guys have transformed. You have, um, with these two cards together, coming out with the High Priestess, this is riding the... Uh, the Merkaba, this is getting to a higher level of spiritual, a higher spiritual level. Um, you're not just vibrating at a higher level. You have transformed and went through the spiritual rebirth, and you have now gained like clarity of life. Like you now see where you're headed, and you're not necessarily really letting this person back in. Um, the in the month of April. Look at this freaking amazing energy. You guys are going through transformation, allowing and purging things of your past out, accepting this healing energy from the divine and balancing your dark, your shadow and your light and just Aries. Wow. You single Aries are coming out of April. Very powerful. You could be working on your spiritual gifts. Um, your gifts could be getting stronger in the month of April. You will be receiving downloads for those gifts. <clears throat> um, you're just really ascending to uh, to a higher level. You're really elevating personally. Um, very, very nice. Um, but you're also, you have almost a love for this person due to the simple fact that if they want to put you through this uh, hell that you wouldn't have been almost forced to go within and find who you truly are. And now you found who you truly are and you are just, you are um, living that life of who you are meant to be and no longer focusing on this person of the past. Okay, our Aries couples, what do we have here? Speaking of, we got judgment in the past. We got devil in the current energy. We got the two of swords in your future. Your bottom of the deck is the knight of swords coming in as your foundation. Your overarching energy is the three of wands in the reverse, clarified with the tower in reverse. <sighs> okay, Aries couples. What I just read for Aries singles is your future if you break up with this person, if you end this relationship, because you are at a crossroads, you do have a decision to make. And um, there's so much toxicity in this connection for this group of you that I'm reading for. Now, if this isn't resonating with you, that's fine. You don't need to leave me a comment about how your relationship isn't toxic and all that. Um, the, per the people that I'm reading for, for this reading, if it's resonating, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, your guys' uh, foundation, this relationship did start off being a third party. You were the third party or you had the third party, Aries. Um, you see the two in the doorway. Family uh, really had an effect on this person. Um like their family, their, their parents, their siblings, um, were constantly in their ear or are constantly in their ear. Um, even though there's a intense sexual connection between the two of you, um, you need more, you want more. 
most definitely. Um, why is judgment here? Coming, the energy coming through March and into the month of April. Um, yeah. So, Aries, um, you have, well, it came up in the reverse, but the King of Wands. So, this connection with this person really has, like, turned your world upside down. You want something more. You want this relationship to be like it was in the beginning, is what I'm hearing. Um, but now you're almost feeling tied and bound to this connection. You feel like you can't move on because you need this person in your life, but you want to move on because you deserve more in your life. You deserve to have a relationship that, um, does not have anybody else in it. Um, it tears you up inside that, um, they go home to somebody else. This is also upsetting you. Um, they feel the person that you're in a third party with, um, they are telling you they can't leave because they have a child with this person or children. Um, and you're like, it's simple. If you want to be with me, you have to leave them, you know, like not them. Like you're not asking them not to be a parent. You're saying, I can't be in this relationship if you're going to stay with your family. And they're saying, I can't leave my family. Please stay. So you're very torn. Um, there's going to be an aha moment coming in for you very quick. Um, Aries couples, I can see it. Um, why is the devil here in your current energy? Yeah. Um, the devil here is, this is not healthy. Um, and you know this and it's breaking your heart. It's absolutely breaking your heart, Aries, because you thought this person was going to give you so much more. Um, you have unconditional love for this person. You love them so much that it's breaking your heart that the toxicity that this relationship has become. It is also, um, becoming toxic because you love them so much and putting up with this heartbreak when you know that this connection is not right. I mean, the connection is, is very there, but the whole situation, you know, the third party isn't right. You know, you have guilt about, um, being with somebody else's person. Um, you just know it's not right, but you can't stop loving this person and it's breaking your heart. Um, you are coming out of the month of April with a choice to make a decision to make with the two of swords. Um, you're deciding whether to stay or go. Yeah. And you're really stressing out about this decision. Um, you don't know what to do. Like I said, at the beginning of your reading, you love this person, but you know that you need more and you know, you deserve more. And you know that this person isn't wanting to leave their situation. They're connected to um, you're not able to move this connection any closer. You're wanting to move in with each other. You're wanting, sorry, Aries, you're wanting to, um, distant or you're wanting to bring, um, the relationship together, removing that distance between the two of you, um, finding a home together, just bringing in your blessings, manifesting a life with this person. And, um, they're, they're not doing it. They're not wanting to deliver the tower to their other person because, um, wow, so many, I'm going to, yeah. Um, they're not wanting to deliver the tower out of fear for some of them. Um, even they're just wanting to continue this third party energy and you're not going to do it. It's in reverse. So, um, let's get some clarifiers. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So this, um, energy, it is, you're wanting more. You're not getting more. Um, you're holding off from ending this relationship because you feel you need this person. Um, and this person is emotionally out of balance. This person needs some healing. Most definitely needs some healing. Um, because they, they're breadcrumbing you. They are, um, they're going home to a spouse at night or another person and they're wanting to know where you're at every minute of the day. That's the emperor in reverse energy, especially when it comes in with the tower and temperance in reverse. So, um, there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done, um, because of the hurt they caused you, uh, this, you need to find balance. You need to find self healing, self love, um, 
yeah, and just uh, break free from this this uh, devil energy. And your bottom of the deck, healing the star. You you most definitely need to find healing um, around these secrets, around this deceit. Um, while I was shuffling, I asked what your future energy would be if you were to release the devil and allow that tower to fall. And you got, you would find independence. You would invest in yourself. Um, you would find balance. The karmic scales would balance out. You could find the balance between your dark and light side. And you would have a new beginning um, blessed by the universe with abundance and love coming in for you. Not this person. This person is not your person, Aries. For those of you, this resonates with. Um, and if it resonates with you, you know I'm talking to you. Because you've been, um, you've been going back and forth with this decision for a long time. You know you deserve this. You know you deserve the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. But this person isn't giving it to you. And that's why you have been battling back and forth in your own mind. Um, because you just want balance, love. Um, you want a relationship that's fair and balanced. And um, not somebody that is controlling you, breadcrumbing you, and um, gaslighting you. So uh, allow this broken heart to, to heal with that star card. Um, try to let go of the anxiety and the stress. And um, follow your heart. Follow your intuition. It's telling you what to do. For those of you this is resonating with, your intuition has been telling you what to do for quite some time. And you've been ignoring it because um, you love this person. You have unconditional love for this person. Um, for some of you, um, by le leaving this person, it is going to um, move you in the direction of new love coming in. For some of you, by leaving this person, it's going to push them in the direction of healing and returning in a healthy manner to have a healthy relationship. But either way, it's calling for you to release this energy and heal. Okay. So. All right. For you, Aries singles, you have healing family issues. Um, your love life benefits as you forgive. Um, it, I see this as healing family issues that can be with parents, with, you know, a spouse, somebody you have children with, but are separated from. However, it fits, you know what you have to heal. There's issues going on in the, the family setting, what, no matter which um, area of family it is, when you allow yourself to heal and you allow yourself to move forward, all parts of your life um, benefit when you forgive your family, when you forgive your parents, your ex, your spouse, what, however it fits, um, just some major healing needs done for you, Aries um, singles. For you, Aries couples, um, you got to um, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Don't keep continuing this karmic circle or cycle. Allow it to pass. Forgive learn, take your lesson, move forward with that justice card that is balancing out your light and dark as well, as well as balancing the karmic scales, because you guys have new love coming in for you as soon as you forgive and learn and move forward away from this devil energy that you're currently um, dealing with. Uh, you most definitely have new beginnings on the horizon. So um, both sides of the of the readings need healing. So take that star card and um, allow that healing energy to um, make your heart um, whole again because a lot of you guys are dealing with some heartbreak this month. So I send you guys all the most healing, love, and light. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, um, but you have to walk towards the light to receive the light. So um, most definitely move forward because you're almost out of this situation and you know what's right for you. So listen to your intuition. It's trying to tell you what to do. So Aries, I hope you guys have a wonderful month of April and I will see you next time. God bless.